What is up guys? It is 7th of August, Sunday the 7th of August. We are in the gym, just about to start the workout. It's a push workout and today is a cheat day for me so I got a little bit of a surprise for you guys for my breakfast. So I, th I thought up a little idea. I hope you guys like it. So let's go. I have now showered and shaved this morning so we're all good. Um, it is now 25 past 9. I'm starving right now. <clears throat> um, I don't think I've done a fasted workout since Christmas Day, so that's quite a while. Um, so I'm quickly going to have a little snack. So quickly, whilst uh, I'm making my uh, breakfast bowl, this is a company called Muscle Packs. Um, they sent out monthly like boxes of supplements, workout routines, uh, seasonings, uh, loads of crazy stuff, really good. And this was in it, so I'm just going to have this. Um, never really heard this company before, but looks really, smells really good as well. Mm. So just quickly whilst I'm making this, this idea came from um, basically in my contest prep for this last contest, um, I was really craving watermelon, so I was like, I want to have some watermelon. I was like, I'm really craving cereal. And I thought to myself, what is a watermelon essentially when you cut it in half? A bowl. Shit's getting serious when the apron goes on. Okay, so now that I've hollowed out my watermelon, we're gonna fill it. So this is how we're looking so far. We've got a nice layer of yogurt, then muesli, then this crunchy nut stuff, then yogurt, then more of this crunchy stuff, and Oreos. Don't worry, it's all starting to come together. You guys aren't gonna wanna miss this. Not bad, eh? Now for a clickbait shot. Real question now is, 
What does it taste like? These are the uh, protein balls. If you guys want to see a review on these, head over to my Instagram, and there's a nice little review on that. So um, I've only got three in here. I might finish off the rest, but let's, uh, let's see how this tastes. In before my battery dies. This is amazing. I'm gonna finish off this and um, I'm gonna put you on charge. That was delicious, definitely satisfied my watermelon cravings. I can honestly say that was really nice. I'm not like stuffed either, so that's really good because I've got um, quite a lot on today and i um, going out to see my girlfriend and her brother as it's his birthday today. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, the next clip is gonna be the full um, chest workout, chest, shoulders, it was like a push workout. If you guys were just here for the watermelon cheat bowl, then thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. On to the workout. What is up guys? It is 7th of August, Sunday the 7th of August. We are in the gym, just about to start the workout. It's a push workout, so let's go. What is up guys, thank you very much for uh, sticking around and watching the workout. So this was a chest, shoulders, triceps workout. This is uh, what I call a push workout. I started off with a flat barbell bench and we um, just repped out for 15, 12, 12, 10, 10. Um, so I'm doing 5 sets, um, pretty much just basically from 15 to 12, uh, 15 to 10 reps and then went into dumbbell side raises as a superset. So the superset of the dumbbell lateral raises is basically just to also fatigue my shoulders so my shoulders aren't taking over the motion in the bench press. Also going to be making sure that I make some nice lateral gains as well, getting that width from the shoulders which is always important especially for men's physique which is what I compete in. So also it's helping to emphasize that and take them. So I'm not going like super heavy on these uh, just because I'm trying to get some higher rep ranges and um, on my lateral raises I'm pretty much, uh, I didn't even go above uh, 14 kilograms so um, for the last set, of, it was 14 kilograms, but that was the max. And um, I find on lateral raises, if you go too heavy, all you're doing is swinging. Um, 
you don't actually get any emphasis on your side delt so you have to be able to take it a little bit less ego and um, make sure that you're leaving the ego at the door just controlling the motion and uh, going through the reps in a controlled way getting the most emphasis on your shoulders so a couple of tips with the barbell bench press make sure you're retracting your shoulder blades keeping your shoulders back put more emphasis on your chest um, also come all the way down uh, don't quite lock out because that's um, not the best for your joints but come all the way down to your chest and then extend all the way up so um, again on the lateral raises I like to come either in front of myself so uh, the range of motion is a little bit wider or you can go to the, bring the dumbbells to directly the side but um, I just find that bringing them in front the range of motion is just that little bit wider um, so you just get a little bit more emphasis on your shoulders so um, we went from the superset of barbell bench press and dumbbell lateral raises into this which is I call a power grip incline dumbbell press power grip is just basically from the parallel position so you manage to bring your elbows to your side with your um, palms parallel to each other and that basically stretches out a little bit more so you get the motion um, and the range of motion is just a little bit deeper and also hits your chest in a slightly different way we went from there into face pulls so it was a superset of power grip inclined dumbbell French press and face pulls face pulls are great for that anterior delt and um, you got to make sure that you remember to hit that because um, your shoulder is made up of the front delt side delt and the anterior delt so you want to be able to hit all three of those and um, it's also really good for your shoulder health in general to um, also hit your rear delts it makes you have a nice balanced shoulder and uh, keep your shoulder strength well and strong so that was a uh, Another five sets for those, and then we went into the incline barbell bench press, um, which is a perfect exercise for me because my upper chest is something which I've been trying to bring up for quite a while now, and um, I think it's starting to develop quite well, but um, there's always a lot of um, uh, difficulties with bringing up your upper chest. but. The incline barbell bench press is one of those ones which really brings it out. And look at that, you want to come all the way down to your chest, touching your chest, and you will make sure that you have those red marks. So, from there, we went into a bench supported side lateral raise, which is just another way of making the range of motion on the lateral raise so much bigger, and it does make the exercise a lot, a lot harder. So, Make sure you uh, leave the heavy weights alone on this one because uh, you're going to want to be able to get the proper range of motion and not swing too much. So, important notes on that. Come all the way down and go up to just shy of above your body. So, it's just coming up almost to directly above yourself, but just shy. So, keep the constant tension. So, again, this was. Um, five sets of this superset and um, you'll find that on incline bench press you can't go as heavy as the flat bench press just because your uh, shoulders are taking a little bit more into it and um, the, the range of movement is not always the easiest uh, because it's so long. I also went into um, the instead of doing the incline side raises because uh, after three sets my shoulders just smoke so um, I went into just uh, this way of doing them where you bring the dumbbell in front of you again making the range of movement just that little bit longer really really good tip so from there we um, did that superset five times a little bit of posing for you guys uh, I'm not the best at doing bodybuilder poses so bear with me but um so um, from those five sets we went into uh, incline dumbbell flies and uh, dips so another superset each um, two exercises are paired together as a superset um, I just find supersets are 
an incredibly good way of getting a lot of volume in, uh, keeping your intensity up, keeping your heart rate up, uh, so you're also burning your fat whilst you're building your muscle, although people say that it's not really possible, but I beg to differ. So um, then we go straight into the weighted dips. And um, I haven't been doing dips for actually many, many months now, but I j just decided to change it up and put dips into my push day. Um, because originally I've been doing a split of uh, chest and back, shoulders and legs, and then arms and abs, but I've been putting abs onto every sort of other day, and then um, been incorporating more um, compound movements like dips, and um, putting them into my push day. So I really enjoy doing weighted dips, actually, it was one of those exercises which actually at my peak I got up to um, Five reps of 60 kilograms added. So, yeah, enjoy a good dip. Also, um, amazing for the triceps as well as your chest. So, you can never have enough triceps. I do love training the triceps. So, after five sets of that, we went into a nice dumbbell shoulder press, which, because um, actually this day was supposed to be. Um, shoulder focused but I had to change my mind boss when I got in the gym because who doesn't love a good chest pump so we went from shoulder dumbbell shoulder press into barbell front raise this is a really great exercise for your front delts and your traps um, I don't normally work my front delts that much just because you get so much activation when you're doing chest exercises and um, regular shoulder exercises so I did like a tricep, I did a dumbbell shoulder press, barbell front raises, and then into that sort of upper chest exercise. I could only get like 5 to 8 reps though, so I didn't really count it as a tricep. And then we moved up into the triceps uh, end of the workout. So uh, dumbbell overhead extensions. If you guys want to have a short bench, just put a dumbbell on the seat, works just as well and then tricep pull downs so this was a tricep actually so a tricep for triceps and um, into a different grip really really great way of uh, burning out your triceps probably. and then for the final set it was a cable overhead extension so um, another great way of hitting the long head of the tricep, anything overhead will hit the long head, and then anything extending from your elbows, like this, will be your short head, and then you also have a pull down, which is immediate. So dips and overhead tricep extensions for last. Okay guys, so it is now five past nine. Listen to a bit of a Vici Levels podcast in my workout. Honestly, if you guys are low on gym music or anything, just go on podcast, there's tons on there. Okay, so now I'm gonna head home and have a little bit of a cheap breakfast. So see how this goes. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, this is probably gonna be at the end of the video because I'm trying to try and put the cheap stuff first because generally that's what people click on the video for anyway. Um, so that was the workout. Was gonna do half an hour of cardio. I'll do that tonight. Maybe. Normally I try and do half an hour each day, but you know, I'm hungry and you know, cheat day, you know. <laughs>